everyone and welcome to today's video. So today is products I've hit pan on and I thought have I even hit pan on anything but evidently I have and it's a good one to just see isn't it. Right okay let's start. I've dug, all, dug out all my bits. First thing that I've hit pan on is my Kat Von D shade and light and it's these two under eye powders which I love and I need to replace but I don't know if I will replace them I might just get something else so I do like I have liked these a lot and I like this as an all-over lid shade and of course I still use the bronzers so but I've had this for years you know a lot of these things I've had for years um, next up bare skin um, perfecting veil love this powder this is probably my third um compact of it and it's discontinued so that's that lovely powder i've spoken about this for years and years and years and i love it next i've got a glow minerals foundation it's the pressed base honey medium and i must have loved this at the time because you know i haven't used it for a long time but when i got it probably about two years ago maybe more than that i was using a lot using it a lot I like it on its own and to set foundation as well. It's really nice. Woo! Then I've got a highlighting powder. This is De Delilah Pure Light and I love this. I love this highlighter. I mean, who's ever hit pan on a highlighter? This is just the most gorgeous, natural, beautiful powder ever. And I'll, it's years and years old, but I love it. It's gorgeous. Next up, look, even the writing has rubbed off on this. So I've hit pan on those two because I use them the most. Um, I'm quite rough with my shadows, as you can see, but these, these are almost like a cream. They're very, very soft, but I love these two shades. They are the most gorgeous shades ever. Anything like that, I just love it. Love this palette. Then I've got a Charlotte Tilbury. This is the um, Dolce Vita, which they've changed the name to um, It Girl or something something or other. They've changed the name. It's the same, you can buy the same shades. Again, this, this shade here. You can buy the same shades, but the name has changed, so I don't know. I Again, I love, love her shadows. You just cannot go wrong with her shadows. I love this palette, Christmas and... Um, autumn time but I'm wearing that shade all over the lid with a different color in the crease I just gorgeous champagne shimmery shade beautiful can't go wrong with that I've got another eyeshadow this is so old Bobbi Brown doesn't even make eyeshadows like this anymore they're in a square com um, square pot this I got probably 20 years ago but I loved it it's the shade it's a shimmer wash eyeshadow in the shade bronze I'd gone for, for a, um, I loved, I loved this. This is not really my kind of shade anymore, but I, I loved this at the time. And I'd gone for a, um, a Bobbi Brown makeover, because that's what I used to do. I used to just, you know, go, oh, I'm gonna go for a makeover. I love, I love getting makeovers, I love it. Never like usually what they do, but there'll be something I like, for example, you know. Uh, so yeah, that was a favorite. Uh, next thing I've hit pan on, these kind of come together and they are by, um, oh my God, Beautiful Brows. So you've got a brow powder. This came in a big giant kit, which I, I used to love this. I haven't used this for a while, but I did used to love this a lot. You'll see it if you watch my older videos and I've got tons of them, you'll see. And it came with this little highlighter, which I loved as well. I used to use it as an eyeshadow. Again, I love these shimmery, pinky, peachy, champagne-y shades. And I love to just put them all over the lid, you know? It just gives a bit of sparkle. Next up, of course, look at that. This I hit pan on a, a while ago. You know, I've got my other um, hourglass, but to finish a whole big bronzer, it's that good. And it's a big bronzer. And last but not least, I've showed you a thousand times. <laughs> now you can see now, 
I am scraping the edges of this shadow. I've hit mini, mini pan here, but I'm scraping the edges of this gorgeous, gorgeous shadow. I love this shadow. But do you know what? I'm sure there are many, many other eye shadows that come close to that. Bobby Brown, you know, loads. So, I, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't repurchase this. I'd just buy another shadow that's similar. And that's that. There you go. That's all the products I hit pan on. I love when I use up products. I still love buying new products and things like that, but isn't it so satisfying to actually finish something or, or use something up? Because then you can kind of gauge what it is that you love the most. So you can then either make sure you're not rebuying the same thing over and over, unless you want to, or um, you know exactly what kind of thing suits you. You know, you might have a purple eyeshadow that you've never touched. So you know, okay, I'm never going to buy another purple eyeshadow just because it looks pretty in the pan. You're going to go for what you like. Now, I know exactly what I like when it comes to makeup. And, you know, I still like to buy new bits and bobs, you know. Yes. Have you hit pan on anything recently? Let me know. I hope you're all well. Um, and I know this is a bit of a short video, isn't it? Did we speed through this? Yes. Well, the previous video was a long, long one, but you know, I like a long video. If I see someone's video is like 12 minutes, I'm like, no, I need a long, long video. But sometimes they're short and sweet and, um, and snappy and others are not. I'm just buying, I'm just biding my time here. Anyway, I'm going to finish the rest of my podcast because I'm listening to that today. And um, I shall chat to you soon. Bye-bye.